discussion. Well, I'm not even saying I was there. You don't have to. You know. That's fine. I respect that. I'm cool with it. But, um, you know, that's a but but if I was there, nothing happened. Nothing happened. No, if I was there. Now, some people might try to say if I was there, I that's criminal trespassing. To which I would say. If you got a five-day unlawful detainer notice saying get your stuff and get out, right. it kind of plus you haven't been evicted on the two other units, right. plus the third unit they serve, they evicted me on that that one unit, twenty-nine, but then the, the next day because they they realized they listed the wrong court on my notice, they served a new notice of unlawful detainer. Well, a lot of people would say that that withdraws the eviction. But regardless, even if that is like, it's like taking rent from a tenant saying, all right, you can move back in or something. But regardless, there's still two other units that, you know, provide a, a legal right for me to be at that complex. But as far, I mean, if, you know, if, if I don't know what you know, the world they're saying. No, I'm suspended right now. Well, yeah. You know, and I, it's not a guarantee I'll get my license back over, you know. You're not not really. Custody. You're I'm, clearly not in custody. I mean, you're can I, I can't leave though. I'm no, being you're, detained, you're right? Detained. Yeah. You're not under arrest. Right. Yeah, but I, I mean, I haven't made an incriminating statement, is it? No. I haven't made any statements, really. I've just discussed scenarios, hypothetical ones. Do you have any interactions with anyone over there this morning at all? Or you just don't want to talk about that? I have engaged in no conduct this morning that would warrant any sort of citation or investigation or anything anywhere I've been today. You know, just none. And uh, I wanted to report, and I, I'd like to report to you now that um, when they 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 got me evicted and they locked me, and I was arrested last Thursday for this. The sheriff, when he was doing the eviction, charged me with like false statement or something, which is terrible for a lawyer to be charged with that. But plus, it was it, my mom had to come in and, and bail me out two hundred bucks that neither of us have, you know, and. Uh, but anyway, they got their eviction, and as they're cuffing me, I said, you know Jeff Chandler of Nevada Court Services, who likes to dress up like he's a sheriff and pretends like he's law enforcement, but he's just a process server. You know, they get, they got like a gun, a walkie-talkie, they wear something that looks like a badge. They, it's like, they're to me, they're they're like dressing up like they're under color of law. But um, as they're doing this, I say, NCS, Nevada Court Services, you know that the eviction notice you served me told me to file the tenant's affidavit in Sparks Justice. I did. That's not the wrong right court, it turns out. It should have been Reno Justice Court. Well, they served me a, a notice for Sparks, but then they went to Reno and got their order. And Reno Justice Court has admitted to me they goofed up and shouldn't have issued an order. Karen Stansel down there at the filing office, chief civil clerk. So that order might get set aside, but, um, uh, uh, so anyway, they know that. They know they screwed up, and they know this eviction is probably not going to hold up. So they served a new notice, you know, to cover their bases. But when you serve that new notice, telling me I have five days to get my stuff and get out, and then you put a lock on the door, well, that's an illegal lockout, maybe. You know? Arguably. Like, if you're saying, here's your notice to get out, get your stuff, but we're going to put a lock on the door and not let you, well... Felt like a legal lockout. Unless they can just say, well, we were just fixing that note. Like, Lieutenant Brown, I was talking to him about this, and he was like, well, that's like where you put the wrong number on the warrant or something, and, and it's just a, a good faith error or something. But the thing about those eviction notices is, at least as far as I read it, the law is pretty clear that you have to tell people their rights. It's kind of like a Miranda warning almost, saying you have a right to a hearing, you know? 
it, no matter what, even if you just didn't pay your rent, there's that right to a summary eviction hearing if you file a tenant's affidavit in five days. But if they're telling you to go to the wrong court, and, and there is a section of the statute that says you have to tell the tenant what court has jurisdiction. Well, they told me Sparks Justice. That's right. Take one